In this section, we will practice identifying the presence of chest in drawing in five children. Here is the first child. Her name is Mary. Does Mary have chest in drawing? What did you decide? We saw normal breathing. As the child breathed in, the whole chest wall and abdomen moved out. Therefore, we decided that there was no chest in drawing. Here is the second child. Her name is Jenna. Does Jenna have chest in drawing? What did you decide? We saw indrawing movement in the lower chest wall here, while the rest of the chest and abdomen were moving out. Therefore, we decided that Jenna does have chest in drawing. Here is the third child. His name is Ho. Does Ho have chest in drawing? What did you decide? We saw in drawing movement in the lower chest wall here, while the rest of the chest and abdomen were moving out. Therefore, we decided that Ho does have chest in drawing. Here is the fourth child. Her name is Anna. Does Anna have chest in drawing? What did you decide? We saw normal breathing. As the child breathed in, the whole chest wall and abdomen moved out. Therefore, we decided there was no chest in drawing. Here is the fifth child. Her name is Lo. Does Lo have chest in drawing? What did you decide? At first, it wasn't clear whether this child had chest in drawing or not. Because it wasn't clear whether this child had chest in drawing, we looked at the child from another angle. We then decided she does not have chest in drawing. If you are not sure, decide it is not chest in drawing.